Welcome to Talking About Kids. I am your host, R. Bradley Snyder, researcher, activist, and co-author of the What Every Child Needs to Know series of board books for pre-readers. Millions of kids in the U.S. have jobs, and so for this mini Labor Day episode of Talking About Kids, I wanted to examine what we know about the benefits and risks of juvenile employment. Just over 30% of kids, ages 16 to 19, have jobs. And while that's up from the pandemic years, it's otherwise a much smaller percentage of kids than in previous decades. Juvenile employment is seasonal. January typically sees the fewest number of youth employed, In January 2023, we had about 5.2 million 16 to 19-year-olds employed. That number goes up in the summer months. In July 2023, we had about 6.5 million 16 to 19-year-olds employed. So that's a lot of kids. But is it a good thing? The answer, according to scientists, is it depends. Working 20 or fewer hours a week has been associated with healthy development in 16 to 19-year-olds, as evidenced by more responsible behaviors, better time management, and even better grades. However, working more than 20 hours a week is associated with lower graduation rates and with what is known as precocious maturity. Precocious maturity means that these individuals use more substances, are more likely to smoke, are more likely to abuse alcohol. They are promiscuous sexually. They engage in other risk-taking behaviors. And of course, all of those activities are supported by the extra income that they have from the employment. To help ensure positive outcomes, Experts recommend guiding kids towards employment opportunities that are 20 hours a week or less with regular schedules. Ideally, we should be guiding kids towards those opportunities that are related to their emerging career interests and the skills those careers will require. Finally, we want to guide kids to those employment opportunities that are compatible with schoolwork and that do not crowd out other activities that are important to healthy development. Things like sports and clubs. We don't want employment to crowd out friendships or family. I hope you enjoyed your long Labor Day weekend. Full-length Talking About Kids episodes return next week. As always, our theme song is by The Senators. For more of their music, go to thesenatorsmusic.com. And remember, kids are young goats and young humans. And the difference is that young goats are easier to manage. <laughs>